One day, the fat controller was sitting in his office, catching up on paperwork. He was feeling harassed. Ugh, this is the last time I left that Mr. Gordon into my office. That bill should've been- Oh my goodness, that bill should've been paid weeks ago. And that one... Well, where did that one even come from? What, what, where are my donuts? Ugh. Oh, I was wondering where that piece of cheese went. Oh well, better than nothing. Oh, bother, confound it. Hello? Oh, uh, hello, Sir Robert. Yes, I had a lovely vacation. No, I didn't see any dinosaurs. Uh, no. Yes? You need what? Oh, Sir Robert, are you quite sure about this? Oh, oh, all right. He'll be there. Right. Okay. You're very welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. What on earth is he up to now? Mr. Smith! Um, yes, sir? Please have someone tell Edward that I will be seeing him later today. Something about a job that the Earl wants on. Oh, and while you're out, could you pick up a bag of donuts? A dual gauge line and I'm to help with construction? Yes, an extension line from the Blue Mountain Quarry to a new building site. Some new secret project of the Earl's, no doubt. You have to report to the starting point outside of the BMQ tomorrow. But, sir, uh, who will take care of my duties while I'm gone? Your jobs will be taken care of. The Earl asks for you and your expertise specifically, so I hope you will work hard and be a credit to me. Yes, sir. I will, sir. That's a good engine. I've always been able to count on you, Edward. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, if I may ask, where is your hat, sir? Oh, I wish I knew. But Mr. Gordon... Did you hear that, old boy? Laying down rails and dual gauge at that. Bit of a tricky job. Eh, not wrong there. And the Earl is just crazy enough to think of doing a full dual extension line. Hey, you want to get fired? Anyway, I wonder what other engines the Earl has chosen to work on the project. You can't build an extension with just one engine. Well, don't worry about it now. Go on, old fellow. Those trucks won't wait for us all day. Huh, no mistake there. Still... I wonder who it will be. The next day, Edward arrived at the building site, ready for work. The workmen were preparing the ground for the first rails. Benjamin the ballast spreading engine was already hard at work. Hello, Benjamin, Edward whistled. Hello. Busy. Important stuff. Can't talk. All right, then. Hmm. Where is that other engine? Oh, hello there. You're... you're Duke, aren't you? Oh, I've heard a lot about you. I'm Edward. I, I don't believe we met. We'll be... Oh, you're Edward. Oh. Yes, we'll be working on this line. I'm aware of the facts, thank you. All right then. You wouldn't know what this job is for, by any chance, would you? Only that it isn't needed and it's a waste of time. Well, I, I understand if you're not in complete agreement with that. And then there's another thing. You. Pardon me? Experience. The Earl wanted you for your experience. You're younger than I am. Nothing but a whippersnapper, if you ask me. Uh. Experience. I was laying rails before you were even thought of. Ugh, the very idea. Before Edward could even think, a workman came running over. Hello, you must be the other new engine the foreman asked for. Oh, oh, speaking of foreman, he says he won't need you yet, so, um, 
you can just chill for a while. So uh, later. Nice paint there. Um. Well, uh, at least this job can't get any. Um. Uh, is this the right place? Oh, hi, Edward. Are you on this job too? As confused as he was, Edward decided to run off the incident with Duke as the result of low spirits. As the first few days of the job kept the assigned engines very busy, Edward and Duke did not have the chance for much more conversation than they had on the first day, so the days following were peaceful. I'll work together, work along, yeah, la 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 la, can't remember Fairly the peaceful. words, work together. Working together. The next day, the Earl arrived to see how the engines were getting on. Oh, how lovely. Oh, this just looks positively lovely. Oh, dear. Oh, they are doing such a splendid job. Oh, nice hat there. No one. Oh, oh, ah, Duke, my dear old fellow. How goes the project? Haven't spoiled the secret, have you? Uh, no, I, I, I haven't, sir. Uh, uh, the, the project is proceeding smoothly. We should finish it by the deadline. Oh, how wonderful, how exciting! I just love it when a surprise goes well. How are the other engines doing? Especially Rosie. I do think she needs to learn on such a job as this. Yes, I see great potential in that engine. Unfortunate that Sir Topham keeps her buried in the shutting arts. Ah, well, I'm sure she'll greatly benefit from the expertise of... Edward! What? Edward, how are you settling in? Oh, I'm so glad you're on the project. Rosie is so very young and inexperienced. She needs a wise engine to teach her the ropes. Oh, and of course, your experience of laying rails should prove invaluable on the project. Well, it's good to hear you're doing well. Must be off. Cheers. Oh, work together. Da, 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 da. I can't remember the words. Oh, work together. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. What did you do? Um, excuse me? <sighs> Is that all you can say? I thought you were supposed to be wise. Now, what did you do to earn that reputation? I'm just curious, but what exactly do you have against me? Ever since I got here, you've either been snippy and snide or cold and dismissive. I knew you were a gruff engine. But you're acting like an engine a fourth of your age. Don't speak to me of age. I'm two decades your senior. Y yes, y yes you are, and I, I thought I could respect you. I would have respect for you if you were just drawn, if if only you weren't acting like such a such a fool. How dare you? You, you, you you're nothing but a flighty, impertinent whippersnapper. <sighs> <laughs> oh, why are you laughing? Oh, I haven't been called a whippersnapper in more than a hundred years. Takes me back. <laughs> what? What? Impertinent scallywag! Hmm. Oh, hiya, Dookie. What you doing here? You're a ways from the construction site, aren't you? Ha! <laughs> lost your way, old fella? No, no, I haven't lost my way. I just need to get away from that engine. <sighs> oh, okay, gee, gee, it's a little Louise. Oh, don't get so steamed. You'll blow, you'll blow a cylinder or something. What engine and why, if it makes you feel any better? That... Uh... It's Edward, I swear. If he gets out of line one more time, that that brother of mine will... Duke, uh... 
has the location of the project really got to you that much? Nonsense. Utter nonsense. Slip of the tongue, that's all. N n n nothing more. Nothing more. Bertram is gone, and I should be getting back. Well, as soon as the rubble is out of the way, we should be able to proceed. I wonder where that... Oh, oh, oh my gosh, Rosie. What, what, what was that for? What? Oh, sorry, Edward. I, I, I guess I was dis distracted. Uh, I, I'll be going now. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take this away. I'll, I'll be back with some more supplies. Sorry. <sighs> Never knew an engine that could be so distracted. <laughs> well, she'll get over it someday. Anyway, right now we've got bigger concern. The project was now faced with a difficulty. A large rock formation lay smack dab in the path of the new railway line. The workmen investigated. We could call in Oliver Excavator, or we could build around it. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Are you daft, Perkins? That will take ages either way. I say we blast it. Woo, sounds good to me. I'll go get the dynamite. Edward was uncertain. I, I don't think that's a good idea. We don't know the area. There might be a mineshaft nearby and you wouldn't want to risk weakening the ground. Come on, I think we should listen to Edward. He's seen a lot of rail laying his time after all. Listen, Perkins, while Foreman is out to lunch, it's my call. My call. Not yours, not Edward's. Mine. And you and that old engine aren't about to question my authority and experience. We are blasting, and that's final. I've got a bad feeling about this. You wait here, Edward. I'm going to go and call Foreman. Oh, please hurry. Oh, dear. Yes, yes. They're doing what? Oh, Duke, there you are. Where have you been? <sighs> I wish you had been here because they're- I should think an engine can go to the water tower and not have a fuss be made about it. Uh, Duke, this isn't the time nor the place. Look, the workmen are getting ready to- Ready to what? I can't see anything with your great bulk in the way, remember? Well, maybe if you hadn't been away for so long- Wait, wait. Did you see Rosie on your way back? Y yeah, she was picking up supplies. Why? Oh, Flanders and Flatbirds, I completely forgot about her. She- she- she's- Edward, what is going on? They're blasting, you fool! They're blasting and Rosie will be in- Oh no. Y you mean sh she doesn't know? Oh, Rosie! Rosie, stop! Stop! Rosie, you've got to stop! Rosie! Oh, oh no, she's daydreaming again. She she's got to listen! It's dynamite! Get away from there! Oh, huh? Rosie! Oh, Rosie! Stop! Stop! Rosie, you've got to stop! Right? Where? Oh, oh, oh no! I, I have to... I, I have to get out of here! No! You have to I, stop! I, stop the explosion! Don't you see that engine? It's... it's too late! Rosie! Oh, Rosie. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh, 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 no. Not again. Not in, not in this place. Duke, you don't think that she's... She... Uh, I... <sighs> there's, there's only one way to find out. Duke, if she's... Duke, I'll never forgive myself. I, I, sh I should have, I should have remembered. This is all my fault. Don't blame yourself. It never works. Whoa, what a mess, Perkins. Jeez, man, y you were right. Look, never mind who was right. The engine is buried under the rubble. For heaven's sake, we have to see if her crew was all right. They, they could be hurt. They're all right, they're all right. Thank goodness. Lucky no one was hurt. Rosie. Rosie, c can you hear me? <sighs> Just like last time. Well, you know what? I'm not going to stand for this. Th 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 this can't happen all over again. Now, Rosie, Rosie, you sorry young scallywag. You you're going to answer me when I speak to you. That's final, you hear? You, you hear? Duke, it's, it's no use. She's... She's... <coughs> D Duke? Is, is that you? Oh, oh indeed it is. Hooray! 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 Oh, yes, hooray! Oh, thank goodness. I'm going to get you out from under that tree now, Rosie. <coughs> Duke, Duke, no! I'm too big! You'll never... <coughs> <coughs> She's right, you know. Look, look, you've done enough. I, I can help you. Wait. No, I can do it. <sighs> they don't call me Bulldog for nothing, you know. If you say so. Uh, uh, come on, come on. It's been a long time since I've done this. <coughs> uh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What in the world? Uh, hiya, boss. <laughs> I can explain. <laughs> I came back as soon as I... W what's happened? Is Duke... He's doing it! Go it, Duke! Go it! At last, with the very last vestige of his strength, Duke pulled Rosie free of the rubble. So much. That a boy, Duke. You've done it. You've done it. Oh, this is terrible. I I'd never intended for such a thing to happen. I, I, I don't think I want to continue with the project. A wise decision. So, you won't be needing what we discussed then. Oh, you, you know I was going to use that for good, but no, not on this. I won't be needing it. <sighs> well, that's something I can go to sleep on. We should have left. We should have left this part of the island alone. <sighs> yes. <sighs> this just isn't my week. All right, you're all set, Rosie. Thanks, Stanley. Goodbye, Rosie. Take care of yourself now. Ha! Huh, thanks, Edward. See you at the shunting arts. Goodbye, Duke. Goodbye, Rosie. All right, we're ready to go then. Hey, what was it like working with the legends and all? Oh, it was good for the most part. But jeez, those old engines can be silly sometimes. <laughs> and the young ones can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I guess you're right. Goodbye, Edward!
That was a fine rescue. It was the least I could do. My arguing cause. Look, I, I just want to say... Edward, can I tell you something? Sure. Sure, go ahead. <sighs> A long, long time ago, before I even worked with Stuart and Falcon, I worked on a small railway that used to be around here but was later torn up. I worked with my... my brother, Bertram. We had a good life until... Un until what? We were working in a mine. Explosives and carelessness were involved. You can guess the rest. That, that's, that's why I didn't want to work here. And then, then there was you. You know, you're, you're, you're just like him. Calm, always trying to be even-tempered, but never afraid of saying what he thought was right. It, it was too much. I apologize. For everything. No need. Duke, every engine has their ghosts, especially when you get to be as old as we are. Rosie was right. Be you old as England or just a young whippersnapper, we can all be silly sometimes. But no matter how old you are, it's your actions, not your age, that ultimately prove your worth. You may have acted badly, whether it was your fault or not, but in the end you proved yourself, and that's all anyone could ask for. <laughs> Wise words. Words I, I should have heard long ago. You know, I, I feel more at peace now about, about Bertram than that I have for a long time. Edward, I, I don't think I deserve it, but I should consider it an honor if I could call you friend. <laughs> the honor is likewise, Bulldog. And so the strife is ended, and so the lost one was laid to rest. Things may not always go perfectly, and our plans may not always succeed, but if you work hard and persevere, you will always find a way of reaching your goal. You, you asked for me, sir? Ah, oh, yes. Perkins, come in, please. I was looking over your records and talking to your foreman and... I just wanted to thank you for your actions yesterday. Ah, oh, well, it was nothing, sir. I love and respect the engines. I always have. Oh, yes, indeed. It seems that you have not had a very good construction career. I have a note here that says the foreman fired you because you were too busy watching an engine shunting. Th that's right, sir. I apologize for that. Perkins, please listen. Perkins, how would you feel about becoming an engine driver? But me, sir? I'd love to. That's what I've always dreamed of, sir. It would mean a lot of hard work, and I would have to pull a few strings, but I think it would be much better than you hammering your thumbs, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, sir. Very good, then. I like having engine drivers that are dedicated to the engines. I'll have the papers drawn up tomorrow. You may go now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs>